Got one. Got a giant. Oh, oh, got one. This thing is massive. They're like rainbows. Look at this. This is so freaking cool. Oh boy. Oh boy, come on, Billy, you got it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Joey Slam. Last time on Joey Slam Z. A couple more. Dude, I can't believe it. Like, monster bag of food for a monster fish. It's pretty sweet. And it's a beautiful, happy, and healthy magical pond. And what's cool is there is an actual myth. And the myth is if you actually throw in a nickel into this pond right here in a spot where you can actually get it back, a wish will come true. Alrighty guys, here you go. Here's the wish. I hope my wish came true. Is anything in here? Oh, 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 oh what gosh. is that? Is anything in here? Look, look at that thing. Oh my gosh. That thing's a stud. I don't know how we're gonna get these things out. I just wanna see them. Hello? Anyone? They're like ninja. They look like a type of gobi. The way they're sitting and everything like that. That's so cool. It's so neat. Well, hello? Anyone? I can't even see them. Is that this? Oh, it's them. It's this. Ow, ow! Look at this. They're oh so gosh. big. Just stay right there so we can see you. Bro, that's so neat. Wow. Can you guys see them? Oh, yeah. Bro, oh, I can only imagine what kind of fish these things are. Look at them sit. They're so cool. Oh, I think I have some driftwood and everything at home too that we can go ahead and add to the enclosure so they can do that. But they're going to be in a bigger home than this little area right here. This has like, this is the strongest part of the pond because it's constantly getting fresh water and everything. So it's pretty cool that he put them in here. So, so yeah, what a nice little surprise for to catch more fishing. I know he, he told me he saved them, but I didn't see them. He says they're just a mystical creature inside my pond. So. <laughs> It kind of worked out. This is so mystical. You would never know there's fish inside of this area right now. <laughs> They're hiding right here on the little lips of this pond. Look at that thing. Neat. All right, I think we're almost done. So once we finish up, we'll be able to scoop these puppies out. Guys, if you look down below, they're kind of just laying on their side. Check them out. Come close. Okay, I'll borrow that for a second. They're just laying there on their side. I think this is the perfect time to scoop them out. Let's see if I can do it solo dolo. Here, friend going to be okay. Any Juan? Any Juan home? Hello? Oh, where'd you go? You this way? Can't see them because, the oh, they're in the left. I see them. It's on this side. Got one. Got a giant. Oh, oh, got one. This thing is massive. They're like rainbows. Oh my gosh, look how pretty they are. Here, Lily, here. Hold this for a second for me. They're so freaking pretty and so chubby. I love them. Look at this. Oh, oh. Hold on, let me see if I can pick them up. Oh, I didn't know they were this big. Easy. They're so chubby, oh, so pretty. Wow. They're rainbow gobies, I think. I'm not sure. Something in the goby family. I'm gonna have to do some research and try to identify them. Look at that. Wow. Do you guys see that? Oh yeah. Look at this thing. It's beautiful. This is so crazy. I wonder what they eat. They gotta be carnivorous, most gobies are. All right, so we got one down, one more to go. Water's almost filled here, come check it out. Water's almost done. And then once the water gets up to here, it'll overflow. So we got just enough time to get the other goby. All righty, time for goby number two. The rainbow brother. That thing is so cool. It's awesome. It's so neat. I've never seen one like that before. Don't worry, buddy, you're gonna be home very soon. Man, they're so chunky. I <laughs> love it. Chunky monkeys. Oh, we should them blow. That's enough water. Oh! Ah! You guys okay? We're good. Okay, cool. <laughs> you guys supposed to get wet? Yeah. All right. We gotta find the other guy. You stand over there. See if you can find them for me. Mm. Hello. 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 Anyone? Where's he at? I don't know. He's like, my brother has been taken. I can't find him. I have no idea where he's at. Where, oh, there he is. See him? Oh, I see him. I'm going to put the net here and I'm going to tap him. Come on. All right, here he is. I think I'm going to get him now. Oh, he's fast. That thing is actually really fast for being a little overweight. <laughs> Dude. 
Oh my god, where'd he go? Hello? Anybody? Oh, I see him, I see him, I see him. He's right in your shadow. And he's right over here. No, no, no. Come on. Come on. Oh, I, I see him. him. Yeah, I got him. <gasps> yep, I got him. Oh, Look at this thing. <gasps> you did it. We did it. Bro, this thing is huge. Wow. So cool and so chunky. All right. So we don't have much of a drive. Hold on, let me show you guys in the net real quick what they look like. Look at this. This is so freaking cool. Wow. Look at that. All right, here you go. We don't have much of a drive like I was saying, so we're gonna hurry up, bang it to the house, get these cool new guys in their new enclosure. Whoa! How cool! They're awesome. They're amazing. Sweet. Found it. Yeah! Woo! All right, guys, so what I decided to do is actually put these guys in this giant container. I felt bad for having them in these buckets. I didn't expect them to be this big, so I'm gonna just dunk them in. You wanna come up here for me, Lily? Sure. Yeah, I got your hand. Hold my hand. And the camera. Yeah. Oh, Whoa. we did it. Cool. All right, we're just gonna add these guys in here. Come on. <laughs> Mr. Goldie, two, three. We'll just go ahead and fish them out with a net afterwards. I just don't want them to like feel scrunched up in a bucket like this because they're so big, you know? Here you go. Watch out, Lily. You're about to get wet. That's better. Sweet. We got everything we need. Now we're heading home. All right, Slayer. So we made it back at the sleigh pad, and here we have their brand new enclosure for our mystical rainbow fish, whatever they are. Pretty much, this is where they're gonna be in this beautiful bathtub where it had a lot of things. It's good to go. I have a beautiful filter right here that is cycled, ready to go with all the bacteria. I have so many freaking filters always ready to go. I grab Biomedia elsewhere, add it there, get some nice natural water. Now, if you go ahead and follow me on this time, come on. We're over here. We have beautiful water that we got from the mystical catch em all pond. And we also have our gobies, which are cuddling inside. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do, which I'm gonna need Lily's help, is we're gonna go ahead and grab some of this water. Come this way again. Add it over here, grab everything, and once the water level is lower, we're gonna go ahead and scoop up those beautiful gobies, and we'll show them off to you, and then we'll be good to go with this brand new home. I have a light for this. I'm so excited to be keeping these pets. I don't know, guys, you know how I like to ask. Go ahead and name them. Yes, go ahead and name them. It should be Joey, Lily, they like to cuddle. I think that's what we should go ahead and do is name them Joey and Lily, what do you think? Maybe, I don't know, I can't really tell the difference, I'm not too sure, but comment below, maybe do them as like a duo type of deal, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, the chunky monkeys or something, I don't, I don't know. But anyways guys, give us a few moments while we'll I go ahead and transfer this water. All right guys, so we're gonna go ahead and scoop up these two beautiful fish right here, possibly at the same time, check them out. They're so interesting, look at them. That is crazy. So we're gonna do one quick transfer with both of them. And just add them in as safely as possible. Look at the lights on that. Aww. Look at the colors. You know what I'm saying? They're so pretty. Oh my god. Hopefully the blue changes them up. They're like orange. Alright, easy. Oh, they're so heavy. Alright, guys. Oh, Lily, go ahead and get down first. Okay. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Oh boy. Oh boy. Come on, Lily. You got it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Nice. Alright, here we go. Here we go ahead and add them here. Nice and safely. There you go. Phew. Perfect. Look at that, they went ahead and found themselves right next to that driftwood. So we're gonna go ahead and add all the water, add all the pumps, add everything we need, and then we're actually gonna take them out real quick and examine them perfectly to go ahead and see what the heck they are. All right guys, so here we have a chance to analyze our brand new little mystical fish. Ah, let's go ahead and hold them for a second. Look at this thing. We're gonna keep this other guy in the water. Just gonna keep him right there. Hopefully this guy doesn't flop around. Look at the orange, look at the faces, you see their faces, they're so weird. They're gobies for sure, based on the weird slender bodies, they have a slime coat. Oh, let me hear, step, I'm gonna switch sides here. Oh, easy. Look at that, I have a little stench, I think he just peed on me or pooped on me. But look at that guys, check that out. He has a couple lacerations on him, probably with him hitting the rock when we went ahead and transport him, but they'll heal up. Looks okay. Look at these teeth. There's no teeth, just sandpaper blue mouths. Wow. See that? Such an interesting fish. Huh. I think this one's blind. 
Look at that, see? Wow. That one's blind, and if you look on this eye, it's different. So I think this one's blind on the right, but that's so freaking neat. Look at the difference in color. Maybe this could be female, male, or male, female. Males are usually uglier than females, obviously. <laughs> but yeah, oh, oh, this one's chunkier. You see that? Wow. This is so cool. Sorry for the noise, guys. The pond needs a little extra water. I gotta top it off, but wow. Look at these things. So we're gonna go ahead and add them right now. Again, they cuddle together. Aww. Look at that wood. They love that driftwood already. They go ahead and gravitate towards that driftwood. But this is a beautiful pond that's really good, ready to go. I have this little light above to go ahead and shine light on them. And yeah. Well, Slayers, we have a problem, a huge problem. So you guys know that we are experiencing a hurricane coming to Florida and it's on its way right now. So we had to go ahead and prep and get some hurricane supplies. Got a generator, got some stuff, move stuff around. Those big containers that were over there, we filled them up with gas. If you look over here, we have huge containers full of gas. Everything we need, like bathtubs full of water. I have a container in the truck full of water. We're doing the water changes here at the pond. Everyone's doing good. Hey babies, come on. Come on, see they want to eat and everything like that. You get to pet them. They're all, everything's getting prepped for the hurricane. So I went ahead and went to Home Depot and I was grabbing a net and we messed up there was a mistake if you look in here unfortunately the gobies are no longer inside i'm talking about not even three four hours i found them here on the floor i have no idea what happened i did some research they're fat sleeper gobies and on top of not only them being fat sleeper gobies they needed some brackish water, so I was going to go ahead and turn this water into some sort of brackish tank. And I'm not sure. I think the water level could have been too high and they jumped out. Maybe they were hungry. I'm not sure. And the whole point of these fish and me taking care of them is because we need to take them from catch them off fishing to put them in this container right here. Because this one's going to be possibly the best course of action for them instead of leaving them in that pond in that little area because the storm was coming. So... I know Zach, catch them all fishing, saved them from food, from that international food market for being eaten. And our goal was to keep them and be a huge staple for all of our channels. Zach, I know you're watching. My bad. I'm sorry. Uh, this is, I didn't expect this. Like, as you can see, we're prepping. We're getting everything ready for this storm. Generators, the whole nine yards. It's going to get crazy here. And, uh, man, this freaking sucks, Lily. We just got them. We legit just got them and didn't get to enjoy them longer than what, a couple hours? Mm -hmm. Again, Slayers, I wanna go ahead and reiterate, I am sorry, this was a rescue mission fail. Like everyone's scrambling right now to go ahead and get their animals safe, to go ahead and move their fish. Make sure everything's safe because this storm is absolutely massive. So pray for the Bahamas, pray for everybody. It's It's just crazy crazy guys it's crazy so we'll check in once the storm's gone if we get hit or not am i better now guys you bet all right cool slayers i hope you enjoyed this episode don't forget to like and subscribe and come over here girl come 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 so glad you're coming out you're the best you're welcome mm, sweaty kiss and we'll see you on the next adventure mm -hmm. booyah